What's up, RCHS? I'm Emmy. I'm Victoria. And this edition of Lions Live starts right now. Rush County Young Life is having a last club of the year on Sunday 23rd at 6.26 p.m. The club theme is crib club, free food, optional to buy a $5 t-shirt, water pool, kickball, water balloons, go-kart racing, and more. What better way to begin the last week of school? Any senior who attends will get a free t-shirt. Here's Cameron with a live weather update. Hey, RCHS. It's Cameron with today's local weather update. It is currently 75 degrees outside. The highest is supposed to get is 83 degrees, and the lowest right now is 63 degrees. Now looking on for the rest of the week, it's supposed to be pretty nice outside. Like I said yesterday, go outside, get some exercise, and maybe swim. And that's it for me, back to the desk. Today's lunch is Cook's Choice. The, the cooks decided on turkey Manhattan, roll, mashed potatoes, green beans, fruit crisp, and as always, milk. Our intro to radio and TV classes have been working on news packages. Here's the winning video. Studies show that more than 80% of teens eat unhealthy diets, so we sat down with some teachers to find out what can help. What problems do you see in teenagers with nutrition the most? Well, eating breakfast. A lot of them would rather sleep than eat, and, um, and I get that. I was probably that way when I was a kid, but breakfast is the most important meal of the day. What do you think can help them? I think that if they would give just five minutes of their time and just go grab something quick in the cafeteria, eat it on the go, it would make a huge difference and impact in them. Probably a lot of uh, teenagers eat a lot of fast food and um, time consuming things. They don't have time to eat at home so they eat junk food. What do you think that could help them? Um, probably more planning and maybe Home, cook meals and not so much fast food. Alright, well thank you. You're welcome. So there you go. Remember to take time to eat a healthy breakfast and you can be a better person. This is a friendly remind reminder that job fair is today. All library books are due back to the learning commons by the last day of school. A letter will be sent home if books are not turned in. Please talk to Miss Monk if you need help finding or paying for a missing book. Applications to next year's theater class are due today to Mrs. Lemons. Here's Alan with sports. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Now on the sports. On Wednesday, the, the Rushville Lady Lions hosted their final home game of the season and fell with a score of 1-10 to 10 to Connorsville. The loss brings the Lady Lions record to 7-15 and 15 with the final game the season at Knightstown on Saturday morning. The Lady Lions take on Batesville and the Connorsville sectional Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. The Lady Lions tennis team traveled to Connorsville on Wednesday to take on the Spartans in the sectional. The, both teams played extremely hard, resulting in a 2-3 loss to the Lady Spartans. At number three singles, Audrey Gawley gave the Lady Lions a 1-0 lead after defeating her opponent. At number two singles, Lexi Yeager gave the Lady Lions the advantage again after defeating her opponent in three sets with the match tied at two to two the number one doubles team of juliana Zimmerman and josie fields took on the spartans in the deciding match both ladies played aggressively but the alt but the team ultim ultimately fell to the experienced connorsville duo with scores of two six five seven the team's final record is five and fifteen the lions golf team fell to Newcastle last night at 159 to 173. For the Lions, notable performances were Jacob Carroll with a score of 40 and Sam Smith with a score of 42. The Lions are now 500 on the season, sitting at six and six. The boys track and field team will be in action tonight for the sectionals. Here's their sectional video.
that's it for sports. Now back to the desk. Have a great day, RCHS.